So this is going to be a ginormous video and I'm so excited for this. So whew, let's get started and I'll leave everything, I mean everything that you can have doubts in, linked down below, I promise. So don't ask, just watch. I'm in love. Am I panicking? I'm panicking. This August is going to be rough as shit and I am going to absolutely love it. Hello beautiful bookworms, my name is Katarina and welcome to my channel. And although today I'm not in blue, sadly, because I can't right now, I am filming my Nudes TBR for August 2019. And if you don't know what the Nudes are, it's all linked on below. It's a readathon, has to do with Harry Potter. It was created by G from Book Roast and this is my Ravenclawish TBR in order to reach the position of alchemist. And for that, I have to read, I believe, if my calculations are correct, which they might not be because I'm not very good at math. I have to read 17 books, which... <laughs> Can you tell that I'm stressing out? I'm stressing out. Okay, so as this is based on Harry Potter, I'm going to tell you everything according to the exams that I have to do and the categories and challenges of each exam. So if you don't know, for the newts, for each category you have uh, the acceptable, exceeding expectations and outstanding and you obviously have three books for each challenge. Unless it is stated in your curriculum that you only have to do one or two of a specific challenge discipline in order to pass it and to achieve your profession because we are going in professions now. So basically what I need for my newts to be a an alchemist. I will show you because I have everything here and you cannot see it but I don't care. So first of all I need an O in ancient ruins. Second of all I need an O in arithmancy. Then I need an O in herbology then a no in potions, and then a no in transfigurations, and finally an E in astronomy. So I have to read three books for five disciplines and two books for another. So yeah, that's a lot of books. <laughs> There's a lot of books. Okay, so we're going in order and I'm going to leave for the end the only discipline which I only have to read two books. The other ones that I'll be telling you, I'll have to read three books and the difficulty of this challenge is that I have to read the book that I list for acceptable first, then the one for exceeding expectations and then the one for outstanding, which, whew, that's going to be problematic, but we can do it. We are going to be alchemists, everyone. I'm a Ravenclaw, I can do it. I am wise, I am fear, no, that's Gryffindor. Okay, I am wise, I'm smart, I'm really afraid. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be great. Okay, so for the first prompt, ancient rooms. For acceptable, there's a rune of partnership, which I don't know how to pronounce. He was? He was? I don't know. But the prompt for that one is a book recommended by a friend. In this case, I decided to choose a book that my boyfriend recommend me. Obviously, he's my boyfriend, he's also my friend, so let's just pretend that that's the thing, and he actually got me and recommended me to read Year by Guilherme Petraca. This I don't really know very well what this is about, but I think it's basically about this little dude, and the only thing that he can say is Year, and he's in a cursed land, and he has to embark on a long voyage over land and sea to find the famous witch who can help him defeat the colorless king. It sounds cute, it sounds really fun, obviously a graphic novel with very beautiful illustrations and it's good to start your readathon because sincerely 17 books without graphic novels, that, that will be very hard. For my exceeded expectations in Ancient Runes, I have to read a book written in past tense, which was very hard, but I got one which is Emanon Volume 1, this is a manga series, this is called Memories of Emanon, and this is written in past tense because it's telling something that happened before, and this is basically um, about this girl, she's called Hemanon. Uh, and she can never be forgotten any more that she can forget. I don't know what that means. This is in the year 1967 and there's a young Japanese man. I don't know if there's going to be a romance. I don't know if this is historical. I don't know anything about this, 
but the art of this is so beautiful and I really want to read it because it says a new manga series begins from the artist of the Eisner nominated Wandering Island, Kenji Tsuruta, and the winner of the Neon Sci-Fi Taisho Award author Chenji Kajio. So, award-winning authors, a cool manga, beautiful art, it sounds cool to me. And finally, for my outstanding and ancient runes, I have to read a book that's on my TBR for ages. And that one is going to be Full Metal Alchemist Volume 1, the Full Metal Edition by Hiromu Arakawa. And this has been on my TBR for a long time because I was trying to get as many as the editions as I could to start reading it. I have watched the animation, I've never read it, but it's one of my favorite stories in the universe. I love the animation, it's one of my favorite animations, and obviously the manga is no different since the animation is adapted from the manga. And yeah, so I really want to read this. This is about um, alchemy, so, so on brand for me, is it not? Um, and this is basically about two brothers. They try to use alchemy to resurrect their mother and because that's taboo and you can never do it, they this brother loses an arm and a leg and the other brother loses his entire body and he has to be stuck in a suit of armor. And so they decide to use alchemy and all their knowledge to be military and to understand where they can find the Philosopher's Stone in order to get their bodies back to normal. And it's very interesting, if you know anything about alchemy, it's the thing that you have to read. And I really enjoy the show and I really want to read the manga, especially with all of these good paper and all of this floppy, beautiful... Mm -hmm, this edition. Okay, mm -hmm, I love it. Then for Arithmancy, for Acceptable, I have to read a book that ends on an even page number. Which I, for that, chose Children of the Whales Volume 10 by Hab Yumeda, which ends on page 188. Yes, I went to check. Yes, I did it. It's another manga. Are you proud of me? I am. And this is basically the story of um, these people that live um, in this island, and they don't know why they're there, and the island functions as a sand boat that goes across the ocean. And one day, they are attacked by the government and they don't know how and why and they start to find out something about their past. This is a fantasy novel, there's a magic system in here, it's very interesting. I don't want to say a lot about this because I've talked about this a lot in my channel and it's one of my favorite manga series and I do feel like you should get onto this and read this by yourself. This has a lot of Ghibli sensations. If you like Ghibli movies, this would be a very beautiful manga series for you to read, although it's already on volume 10, so it's sort of a commitment, but they're very short and they are beautiful. So, yeah. For the next challenge, Exceeding Expectations for Ritman Seed has read a standalone. And for that one, I'm going to be reading Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. This is a very, very small book. It is a classic. It is a standalone. And I cannot wait to dive into Frankenstein because this is a gothic classic. And I love gothic. I love classics and I have never read Frankenstein, which is really, really a crime and I should be punished. So I got this and I figured that maybe on the beach or something with a juice or something like that, I could read this and I would love it, probably. The next challenge, The Outstanding, is a book longer than 350 pages. And for that one, I'm going to be reading another manga, shocking, and that is five centimeters per second. And this one has, if I can see it, 462 pages. So it does the drill. Spoilers for my book haul. This is a book that I got this month, July. And I'm very excited to read it. I don't know a lot about it, but it's about relationships. It's about how people get together and then they get apart and I'm going to cry and it's going to be beautiful and I want to read it. My next challenge is Herbology and to get an acceptable, I need to read a Mandrake, something with green on the cover because I don't really have audiobooks, which you were supposed to read an audiobook, but G said that if you don't have audiobooks, you could read something with green on the cover, so I went with that one. And for that one, I am reading Swamp Thing, Volume 1 by Alan Moore. This is a very known series. I really enjoy Alan Moore's works, and now they're doing a TV show of this, which has already been cancelled, I think, sadly, but I really want to know what this story is about because I have no freaking idea. I understand what most of these stories are about, but this one, I don't know, it's about this green monster from the swamp. I have no idea, but it's very green. 
absolutely green, so it kind of works. Then for exceeding expectations, you have to read a book between 350 and 390 pages. And for that one, I chose One Dark Throne by Kendara Blake, my first full-length book of this readathon, which I really have to read. This is a Portuguese edition. I have read Three Dark Crowns in the beginning of the year, last year. I'm not sure, but it wasn't one of the best surprises of that period of time when I read it. I really enjoyed it and I really want to know how it goes on. I'm trying so very hard not to be spoiled, so I kind of have to get into this since the fourth and final book in English is already out and there's only two in Portuguese, which is very sad, but I love the covers and I really have to read this. So this has 362 pages, which is in between 350 and 390, so it's perfect. And for outstanding for herbology, I have to read a book with a flower on the cover. And for that one, I chose The Promised Neverland Volume 9. And you can say, where is the freaking flower? And I would say, in the back cover. No one told you that it had to be in the front cover, did they? So yeah, it's in the back cover. Don't come at me, I literally have no more books that I can read for this challenge, okay? Don't come at me. Next, I have The Course of Potions. And for that one, for Acceptable, I have to read a book that is one of my friends or one of my known people favorite books, and that is Paul Juice Potion. And for that one, I chose Full Metal Alchemist Volume 2, the Full Metal Edition. I'm, I always want to tell it's the Alchemist Edition because you know, for some reason. But I know that this is one of a lot of people that I follow here on booktube, favorite manga series and favorite animation series. I know it's always one, it's one of my favorite and it's one of my boyfriend's favorite series as well. So I'm counting him as well. And it's one of some of our friends' favorite series. So it's a lot of people's favorite series. Okay. So I want to read it. You got a problem with that? I hope not. Next for exceeding expectations is House Ingredient and it is a cover in your Hogwarts house collar. So for those of you that don't know, which I believe it's sort of a bit impossible not to know, but if you don't know anyway, I am a Ravenclaw and I chose Full Metal Alchemist Volume 3 because it's very blue. And I'm just counting the blue, although there's some silver in here, which you could say that it's, you know, Maybe, maybe not, but I'm counting the blue. It's a dark, vivish blue, and it has Mustang on the cover, so... It's one of my babes, so it counts, okay? Next, for outstanding, you have to read a book that starts with a prologue. And for that one, I chose The Crow Graphic Novel by James O. Barr. And this one is a special edition. It's a little bit chunky, but because it's a graphic novel, you can go through it. The art is gorgeous, and it does have a little bit of a prologue. Where is it? There, be before it starts. It's small, but it is a prologue, so I am counting it. Next, you have Transfigurations, and for that one is a book with LGBTQIA plus representation. And for that one, I chose Lost Boy by Christina Henry. This is basically a horror sort of retelling of Peter Pan, in which James Hook was in love with Peter Pan at some point, but Peter Pan is an evil bastard and James Hook had to grow up and sadly he does not want to hurt Peter and his boys, but war ensues basically. It has gay representation from what I understand and I hope as hell it does because I really wanted that gay romance between James Hook and Peter Pan because it's a thing, I don't know. I know that he's a grown up, but supposedly Peter in here is supposed to be a grown-up as well, but in the body of a child because he never grows up, you know, but he's older than... You know what I mean? Because they came to Neverland together in here. I'm not going to try to explain why I want this romance, but I do want... And I've read Christina Henry's Alice retellings, which are two books, horror books as well. This is a lot of trigger warnings, by the way, so if you don't cope well with gore and horror, don't read this, but I am so very excited for this one. This is my second full-length novel of the readathon. UP. Next for Exceeded Expectations is a book that it's not the first in the series. And for that one I chose Tokyo Ghoul Volume 10 by Suihishida, Tokyo Ghoul Re, actually, sequel, okay? By Suihishida, which definitely is not the first in the series because it's volume 10. And for outstanding, you have to read a book over 500 pages, which would be very difficult if I did not have this gigantic baby, 
which is Ayako, and this is by Osum Osamu Tezuko, and he's a great mangaka, very known, one of the best of the best. The art is beautiful, but it's a very ancient sort of book. And this has... How many pages does this have? I'm seeing 600. Six hundred and ninety-nine <laughs> rolling. This is going to be hard to read, actually. It has a lot of historical themes in Japan, and I think I'm going to like it very much. Now for astronomy, which is the only one where I only have to read two books, the acceptable and the exceeded expectations, to actually pass my course. And for acceptable, I have to read a book with the moon on the cover or anywhere in the title. And for that one, I chose The House with the Chicken Legs by Sophie Anderson, because thank the Lord, there's a moon in here, because there's not a single book in my shelf that has a moon, except for Night Circus, which I already read, so it could not be. Thank the Lord. And this is a middle grade one, it's a full-length novel, again, but it's only the third... no, wait... The fourth! I haven't count Frankenstein as a full-length novel, <laughs> because it's so small. Okay, forgive me. It's only the fourth one that I'm reading, and because it's middle grade, I think I'm going to get through it very fast and it's very small, so we're okay. And then, for the last challenge, Exceeding Expectations, a book with the word night in the title or in the series name. And for that one, I had to actually steal from my boyfriend's collection because I had none. And that is Nightmares and Fairy Tales. This is a comic series. I have here all the 23... You can't see it, but okay. All the 23 issues that comprise this collection and because I don't want you saying a comic only has 22 pages it's not fair if you read a comic for a readathon I'm going to read all the 23 volumes and shut you up yeah and I think that this is about this doll called Annabelle <laughs> that's a familiar name isn't it but okay but this came before I believe and basically it's about how uh, all of the owners of that doll have been very unlucky. It's a gothic, sort of nightmarish, fairy tale ish kind of story, and I cannot wait to read it. So that's going to be all for my Nudes TBR. In the comments down below, tell me please if you are participating. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, leave a like or subscribe. And please, please, please tell me what you're going to read for the Nudes, which course you want to take, which profession you want to do, and which one of the challenges you like most. If you want, just, just converse with me. I love talking with people. So that's going to be all for today and happy readings to you all. Bye!